Lesson 11 Entering Transactions In this chapter we will discuss about entering transactions and we will discuss about entering supplies outward that is sales transaction In our previous chapter that is chapter 10 we have discussed sales transactions only we have discussed quite a lot of types of different transactions in that chapter various types that we were not able to cover in chapter 10 we'll discuss those types in this particular chapter so first of all we'll start with entering b2b sales basically when a registered party sells goods to another registered party this is termed as b2b sale to enter a b2b sale first of all we are going to transaction sales add option specify the voucher series voucher date voucher number sale type here you can select any sale type accordingly that is according to the type of transaction you are entering as we are entering a local transaction in which items are taxable at 18% so we are selecting the sale type as lgst 18% next select the party on selecting the party you can see its gstn number is appearing which means this is a registered party on pressing the enter key on the party field a billing shipping details window is appearing in which first option is gst report basis that is gst report basis should be as per party master or as per billing shipping details as per party master specifies that in the gst report for this particular voucher party details will be printed as specified in the account master if you select the billing shipping details option then that means that details will be printed as per the details specified in this particular window so here we are selecting as per party master option and you can see this is showing the details of the party like address date gst in it pen all these details are picked from the account master of the party next specify item related details then apply the required bills and fees and click save button to save the voucher On saving the voucher, Biz is asking that do you want to print the sales invoice? Yes, we are clicking the yes button. Here Biz is displaying preview of the invoice in the standard format. You can see the bill to details, ship to details. Both these details are same for this voucher as both billing details and shipping details were same. So this is as per party master option. Next we are again entering a voucher. We are specifying the voucher series date, taking the voucher type as LGST 18%. We are selecting the party as Navjot Industries. This party belongs to Haryana. You can see its GSTN number starting from 06. Then, on pressing the Enter key, a billing shipping details window is appearing, in which we are selecting the as per party master option. Next, in the party name field, you can press the F4 key to select the party. Here you can see the list of the parties. Here we are selecting the Navjot Industries Punjab party. Again, Biz is displaying the address related details of the Navjot Industries Punjab party that were entered. in the account master you can see this this party belongs to chandigarh and its gstn also starts from 03 that is it belongs to chandigarh only although in the bill we have selected the navjot industries party but in the billing shipping details we have selected the navjot industries punjab party specify item related details next apply the required bills and fees and click save button to save the voucher Again we are printing this invoice in the standard format and on the screen you can see in the build to section busy is showing Navjot Industries and the addresses of Haryana GSTN is starting from 06 and in the shipped to section busy is showing Navjot Industries Punjab addresses of Chandigarh Punjab and GSTN is starting from 03 so this is the difference between build to details and ship to details Next we are discussing one more case that is in this particular case we will be selecting the party as cash and in the billing shipping details window we will be specifying the party details so here we are specifying the series voucher date voucher number selecting the sale type and next we are selecting the party as cash on pressing the enter key on the party field billing shipping details window is appearing Here we are selecting the GST report basis as billing shipping details which means in the GST reports details as per billing shipping details that is in the details as entered in this window will be displayed so here we are specifying the billing shipping details like we are specifying the party name its address its GST ID and then clicking the okay button so this is the case when billing is done in the cash but we have specified party details also specify item related details apply the required bill sundries and click save button to save the voucher again we are printing this invoice also in the standard format 
and on the screen you can see in the build to section it's showing cash and in the shipped to section it is showing shivang industries and the address as we have entered in the billing shipping details window so this is the case of b2b transaction wherein we have discussed that you can pick shipping details from party master you can specify them in billing shipping details window also next we are discussing entering b2c and b2cl sale b2c sale refers to any sale made by a registered dealer to an unregistered dealer or consumer so basically when a registered party is selling goods to an unregistered party or to the consumer then it is termed as b2c sale if the b2c sale is interested and its amount is exceeding 250000 rupees then it will be categorized as b2cl sale so here we are again entering a sales voucher specifying the voucher series voucher date voucher number sale type we are selecting as lgst 18% party we are selecting as cash as we have mentioned that b2c sale refers to making sale to an unregistered party and specify the item related details apply the required bill sundries and click save button to save the voucher so this is the case of b2c transaction here you can note that invoice amount is less than 250000 rupees so this is a b2c transaction and it is a local transaction also now we will be entering a b2cl transaction for this we are specifying the voucher series voucher date voucher number and we are selecting the sale type as igst 18% we have already mentioned that for b2cl it should be an interest rate transaction next we are selecting the party you can see on selecting the party its gst and number is not displayed that means this is an unregistered party then specify the item related details apply the required bill sundry and you can see at the bottom that bill amount is exceeding 250000 rupees so this is a pure case of b2cl transaction wherein there is an interest rate transaction party is an unregistered party and invoice amount is exceeding 250000 rupees next we are discussing entering export with tax and without tax transactions in india export is basically a zero rated transaction that is no tax is charged but in case you have charge or we can say you have paid certain tax on export transaction then that tax is fully claimable from the government so in this section we will discuss both type of transactions like in one transaction we will be entering export transaction without applying any tax and one export transaction in which tax will be applied so first of all we'll start with an export transaction in which tax is charged specify the voucher series voucher date voucher number here we are selecting the sale type as igst export taxable if we open this sale type in the modify mode you can see it's taxable voucher wise and its region is interstate export normal next we are selecting the party this is again our unregistered party in the modify mode we are opening this party and you can see that its gstn is not specified and its address belongs to outside india as we have discussed earlier also that for foreign parties you will create an unregistered parties because these parties does not come under the gst purview of india next specify item related details next we are applying the igst export oblique scz unit bill sundry if we open this bill sundry in modify mode then you can see that its adjust in party amount is specified to no and account head to post is taken as igst refundable against export oblique scz export and scz transactions are totally similar so we have created same bill sundry for export and scz transactions and since the tax you will paid on this particular transaction is fully refundable so here we have taken the account as igst refundable against export oblique scz click save button to save the transaction on clicking the save button an export shipping bill details window is appearing in which you will specify the shipping bill number shipping bill date and the port code that is the code of the port from where the goods will be dispatched here you can press the update port address button also to update any port details you can see this is showing details of the port code already entered here you can modify this information or you can add more port address details also so this is the case where export is taxable next we are entering an export transaction without tax here we are specifying the voucher series voucher date voucher number we are taking the sale type as igst export zero rated if we open this sale type in modify mode you can see its region as interstate export normal and its taxation type is zero rate select the party again this is an unregistered party specify item related details 
and in this particular voucher there is no need to apply any bill sundry as no taxes charge in this transaction click save button to save the voucher on saving the voucher export shipping bill details window is appearing in which you can specify the shipping bill number shipping bill date and port code next we will discuss entering scz with tax and without tax transaction SEZ that is special economic zone. If you are making any sale to SEZ transaction, then it is also treated as zero rated transaction. SEZ transactions and export transactions are totally similar. As mentioned earlier, we have created the same bill sundry for both types of transaction. So first of all, here we are entering an SEZ transaction with tax. So we are specifying the voucher series, voucher date, voucher number. We are taking the sale type as SEZ taxable. If you open this sale type in modify mode, you can see its taxation type is taxable voucher wise and region is interstate SEZ unit. Select the party, select material center, specify item related details and apply the required bill sundries. Here we are applying the bill sundry as IGST export oblique SEZ unit. This is the same bill sundry which we have used in our export transaction. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, an export shipping bill details window is appearing in which you can specify the shipping bill number, shipping bill date and port code details also. Next, we are entering a voucher for SEZ without tax transaction. Specify the voucher series, voucher date, voucher number. Here we are taking the sale type as SEZ zero rated. If we open this sale type in modify mode, you can see its taxation type as zero rated and region as interstate SEZ unit. Select party, select item, specify item related details. In this voucher, there is no need to apply any bill sundry as no tax is charged in this transaction. Click save button to save the voucher. Again, an export shipping bill details window is appearing in which you can specify the shipping bill number, shipping bill date and port code. Next, we are discussing entering RCM that is reverse charge mechanism sales. There are certain services like services of lawyer which falls under compulsory RCM. For example, if a lawyer is providing legal counseling or legal services to its customer, then he will enter an RCM bill. So how you can enter such bill in busy that we will discuss. Again, we are opening a sales voucher, specifying voucher series, voucher date, voucher number, sale type we are selecting as reverse charge. If you open this sale type in modify mode, you can see its taxation type is taken as reverse charge. Select the party, specify item related details. Here we have taken the item name as legal counseling. In this bill, there is no need to apply any bill sundry. You can see we have not applied any bill sundry in the voucher, but at the left hand side, tax summary is showing tax details. It's showing CGST as 9% and SGST as 9%. As we have taken the sale type as reverse charge, hence busy is showing the tax details. That is, you are not required to apply any tax or pay any tax, but still this is an RCM transaction. So busy is showing the tax related details. Since lawyer services falls under services 18% category, so busy has applied 9% CGST and 9% SGST. Click save button to save the voucher. Now we'll print this invoice in standard format and on the screen you can see it's showing complete details here. Instead of tax invoice, it's showing bill of supply as heading and you can see tax details are also being displayed in the invoice. Next, we will be discussing entering deemed export transaction. Deemed export refers to an interstate sale made for the purpose of export of goods only. For example, A has made an interstate sale to B and B has purchased those goods only for the purpose of export. So the sale made by A to B is a deemed export and sale made by B to C is a direct export. So how we can enter a deemed export transaction, we will discuss that. We are specifying the voucher series, voucher date, voucher number. We are selecting the sale type as deemed export. Here in the region section, we have selected interstate and deemed export option. As deemed export transactions are taxed at 0.1%, so here we have specified IGST as 0.1%. Select party, specify item related details. Here we are taking two items and then we are applying IGST at the rate of 0.1%. Since deemed export transactions are taxable at 0.1%, so we have applied the tax rate as 0.1%. Click save button to save the voucher. So this is all we have to discuss in this particular chapter. We have discussed almost all types of sales transactions in the previous chapter and in this particular chapter. At the end of the chapter, we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. 
Hope after going through this chapter, you would be able to easily enter sales transaction in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.